Hey guys, guess what we're doing? Yeah, um, this guess is a little tough, guys. So I better explain. My brother, you know, I remember mentioning in few of my other videos that uh, he uh, he attacks everything, pounces on everything, and destroys that thing. So uh, you know, so he's still doing the same. Actually, I think he's you know he's two and a half years old, guys. So he's just about to enter preschool, but uh, he's actually uh, supposed to go to nursery this year. But thing is, due to COVID nineteen, he is he was unable to attend uh, school this year. That you know that's why. So we decided. So my mom she got the idea of homeschooling him, guys. So me and my mom we came up with a few ideas of uh, you know different methods of homeschooling him, like how to learn numbers, uh, alphabets. In handwriting, these help these help in the future skills of his life, guys. So I'm I'm gonna share with you guys a few of my a few of mine and my mom's ideas. So let's go, guys. So guys, you know my brother. He uh, like I told, he's uh, he, it's his first. Year in school, it was supposed to be actually, but uh, we would we could have sent him for virtual classes, guys. But you know, it's his first year. If he had been attending school for two three years, he would have been able to adjust. Uh, but it's his first year, right? So it will. It, I think he will find it very tough to adjust with his friend. You know, adjust and with his environment and cooperate with his friends and interact with them. It will be a little tough. So we went for a better. Uh, me and my mom, we went for a better option to homeschool him. So now we're gonna share with you guys the uh, the ideas we told I told you about. So let's get going, guys. You saw it right, guys. We did flashcards. Aren't they so cute? I mean, you know what we did? We just, uh, uh, I mean, we did not do it, but uh, you know, we can just uh, take the flashcards off like this. See, like <laughs> A, B, C. You know, it's a the D's are tough. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> so what we did, you know, this uh, it registers into my brother's mind because we're like, what is this? Capital, uh, you know, uppercase C and lowercase C. This is pretty useful, and uh, this is also very, very uh, colorful, and you get the idea, right? And uh, we, you know how we did this is that uh, due to COVID nineteen, we bought like so many vitamin C, vitamin D, and multivitamin tablets. Oops, sorry guys. <laughs> I'm just gonna be so sad. So we bought like so many vitamin D, vitamin C, and multivitamin tablets. So we didn't, uh, we ate the tablets, of course, but we didn't know what to do with the covers. You know, it's just like a, uh, it's just junk. So what we thought, um, we could use these for uh, homeschooling my brother. You know, because we cut them up into rectangles like this, and uh, we just, uh, we just put a four sheet. You know, we just covered it up with white paper, and now we can actually just draw on it or use it for any kind of. Uh, Purpose. So what we did, we just put some, put on some borders, and we we put, you know, we yeah, as you can see, we wrote some letters on it. Now we can. My brother, he has flashcards to learn uppercase, lowercase, and we can also learn. Uh, you know, we can also learn colors with this. See, brown, magenta, red. <laughs> I think this is pretty useful, guys. You should try it. See these flashcards, guys. They are very easy to revise on. See, we can just uh, put it, put them like, like I told you. Yes. And uh, my brother, it uh, he actually finds it fun to learn the colors. Like he identifies the colors. He's like blue instead of blue, and he's like red instead of red. And he, uh, he know, he learned the upper, uh, you know, the uppercase letters very well. And uh, he's still working on the lowercase, but I'm sure he'll learn it pretty fast. This we can learn it like very quickly, you know. And just to, uh, <laughs> just for fun to make him learn all the colors of the rainbow, I created for him a rainbow flashcard. Isn't this so adorable? See, it's like colors of the rainbow and with your, you know, right? You know all the colors of the rainbow. I don't it, isn't it? 
<laughs> so guys now we're gonna go to the next thing we did through my you know to educate my brother you know these are patterns it's very important for him to learn the patterns guys for his handwriting and standing straight <laughs> i had it ulta sorry and standing straight slanting curves so that's what exactly what we did over here look at these guys what we did there are, we just cut them up like uh, strips of uh, uh, yellow scrap paper and uh, actually for this uh, we used the cereal uh, box you know the the packaging we get for cereals right so we just cut them up into <laughs> these giant giant rectangles and uh, uh, attach white paper to it now we can just stick anything we want over here so what we did we just uh, cut up strips of the yellow scrap paper and we stuck it over here and same thing we just uh, put them like sleeping lines and slanting lines and this we used curves you know so we, and now my brother he can actually just draw on them or trace them uh, freehand also because he can just follow the strips to trace them and uh, you know we can actually use it like this see now if it, now these are sleeping lines and these are standing these are slanting <laughs> and these are now we can the curves now we can uh, see now he is like a left and right kind of curves if he uh, if he puts them like this then uh, he can use like a uh, uh, upside down curves and uh, you know upside down curves and upside down curves <laughs> yeah he can actually use them like that and i feel this is very useful guys and uh, i think if i was a baby i would love this seriously and i love it seriously guys i mean <laughs> So in this he can learn, you know, <laughs> why am I always holding it uh, upside down, guys? <laughs> in this he can learn standing lines, sleeping lines, slanting lines, and curves, guys. So now we're gonna move on, you know, to the third idea which we did to my brother, guys. <laughs> so this one, uh, this one is shapes, guys. So you know we can, uh, this one also we we used the seal cover packaging only and uh, we just uh, put up the A4 sheet and you know you got it right and uh, what we did we just put on the scrape uh, we cut the scrape paper into uh, these circles triangles rectangles and squares to you know my brother now he can just uh, trace them trace these shapes like look at this this a circle he it is there are no corners look at that see and trying it there are three corners like that he can uh, understand and he can also color in them like uh, if he, he's like uh, if he colors in them he can understand like if it's a rectangle or a square if it's a triangle or a circle so he can actually differentiate between the shapes guys very useful idea and now guys this is the last idea we did because because his age this is actually pretty much so now it is numbers of course numbers is a must guys seriously so yeah i like i told it's best out of waste so at this uh, in this case we did, we used cardboard uh, because this one's a bit sturdier and uh, if we press too hard then it won't like break or something so what we did we just cut up the shape of the cardboard in this kind of shape then if you know the shape guys <laughs> so we just cut up the a4 sheet in a smaller shape of this same shape and the same way over here and then we wrote numbers and we labeled all the numbers till here and we you know we had the empty shells of pistachio so what we did we used like uh, in, in the number 1 label then we we put one pistachio and number 2 two pistachios number three three pistachios same way guys and now we can actually feel them and we can actually experience it i think this is a very good and innovative method i think you should definitely try it guys and so you know my brother he can now he can just count while touching see like one two like here one two one two three now actually this is so relaxing guys it's like a stress reliever 
look at this guys we i showed like there are so many colors over here like pink coral pink purple turquoise olive green and now we have these charts which we did numbers ones patterns and shapes how are they i think these are really cool guys what do you think and this is s for sona s for sona channel name and s for sona <laughs> So guys, apart from these things, you know, I like as I told, my brother is very naughty, and uh, you know, me and my mom, we want to engage him in something, or else it's totally like. <laughs> so we want to engage him in something, and the thing he loves doing. So he, we need to give him something he loves doing, right? So he love what he loves doing. He he uh, can play. He can play with that thing. uh for one hour at least per day and uh, it's like so that thing is modeling clay guys modeling clay he loves it a lot and uh, because it's you get the idea right i think even you will like modeling clay you know he uh, he he's going to play with it one hour at least minimum per day but thing is he keeps on ruining it guys because uh, you know every two three days uh, we get a new ruined modeling clay and thing is uh, we can't buy, uh, you know we can't uh, go to the store and uh, buy modeling clay every time he ruins it because of covid 19 right guys so what we did we uh, me and my mom we decided to make our own modeling clay and we experimented it a few times and then it failed a few times and uh, <laughs> Finally, we got a perfect modeling clay, and this modeling clay—it's like, uh, it's just like the one we bought from store. And my, my brother, it—he uh, plays with it very well, and uh, he he likes it as much as I do because even I love modeling clay. But I'm a bit outdated, guys. And uh, this modeling clay lasts for lasts for ten days, guys. So I think it's pretty good. But our modeling clay it lasts for only two days. but it's very cheap guys so let's gather all our ingredients and let's start making so guys i'm going to start our modeling clay now we need salt you know equal measurements of salt and our all purpose flour we need some uh, color we need some oil some baking powder lukewarm water and the i'm doing two modeling uh, different modeling clays guys so these are this is the for the other set okay guys let's start so first we need to add our uh, all purpose flour i'm just going to tip it in and then we're going to add we're going to add our salt so <laughs> Then you're going to add two uh, two teaspoons of baking powder, guys. So I'm just gonna. Now, okay, guys. After adding baking powder, we need to add our food color. This one is homemade food color, guys. I'm using liquid ones now. Uh, this one it's beetroot. Uh, the juice we get from beetroot. So I'm just we need to adjust the water quantity because I'm using liquid ones. So I'm just gonna pour it in, and uh, now what we have to do? We have to add the little by little our lukewarm water. So I I'm gonna start mixing it, and so I'll show you guys after I mix it. I mixed it, guys. Okay. Perfect. And I'm just gonna and. Guys, so uh, look at this, guys. I'm done. So when you know it, when you're done, when you have a clean bowl and your hands are clean as well. So now we're gonna add a bit of oil in there. I I feel the oil is what makes it look like the store bought ones. You know. I think this is very nice now, guys, and. Uh, I'm just gonna mix it up like this. <laughs> It's a bit in an irregular shape, guys. How is it? I think it's really cute in this pale purple kind of color. It's so.
so guys this color we made it at home with the beetroot juice but this it turned out a bit dull don't you think look it's a bit pale so what i thought i could uh, experiment it with uh, the store bought color as well to see which one is better so now we're going to do the store bought ones guys and this clay is ready how do you think it is i think this is perfectly cute so this is the second set guys and this time we're going to avoid the baking powder so i'm just going to uh, show you guys how it is without the baking powder as well and we're going to use the store bought food coloring this time so let's use let's do the same let's repeat the same adding the all purpose flour it's a bit hard to balance guys and the salt and i'm just going to add the food coloring and you know if uh, if we just mix up the food coloring i'll show you the magical part see if we slowly add the uh, lukewarm water just a bit guys look at this it's like transparent while it's falling down and now it's yellow i like this a lot it's like a magic trick you can seriously fool your friends i'm now going to mix it and, and you know this this consistency it's now a bit kind of uh, what you tell it's a bit powdery if we after we add the oil now we'll get the store bought kind of consistency guys wow isn't this so cool now we're going to add the oil actually just a bit now we're going to clean the bowl <laughs> i love cleaning the bowl now it's good as new adding the oil guys just a bit and just gonna me i think this is very nice guys a bit more because i feel it just lacks a bit i think this is good don't add too much guys i think it will i don't know what will happen but i prefer not adding too much but i still believe on, uh, on the thing that oil is what makes your thing look you know the clay is store bought you know the thing uh, to make your clay look store bought so i'm just gonna roll it into a bowl now How is it guys? Okay guys, so now we have two different colors. Don't uh, didn't you, uh, you know it doesn't don't you notice it's like this one is very bright but this one it's softer and it has more con you know it has a bigger it's a bigger amount because of course we added the baking powder then. Now I'm just going to roll it out to ch uh, check the efficiency guys on how uh, how good it is and I have a mold and the ro the rolling slab and the rolling pin guys so I'm just rolling it out I'm not a very good roller so no offense guys uh, yikes like I told I'm not a very good roller and I'm just going to uh, test this out now Wow, don't you think it looks cute? I think I can just make a small little ball and make a flower. Isn't this cute, guys? I think this is perfectly amazing. This one's impossibly soft, guys. I love it. And now we're going to roll out the yellow clay, guys. Just going to put it in. This one's a bit rough, but still this color is so bright. I must really appreciate it. Yeah, this one is a bit easier to roll than the other one. That one's too a bit too soft. There we go. And <laughs> wow, I think we can make another flower. Oh, this one is real cute. Okay, this guys. 
I make two small balls to make the flower. Actually, oh god, I got a serious idea, guys. I'll come back with what I did with the idea. And guys, now I got I'm back with the idea. I think this will look super cute. Oh, yikes. <laughs> Made of purple clay on it. Wow. Aren't these super adorable? I think I'm in love. Aren't these super adorable? And this clay is so nice, impossibly soft, and wow. They're so cute, guys. I like So guys, these are the ideas we refer to to engage and teach my naughty, naughty, naughty brother, guys. And he particularly loves the uh, modeling clay a lot. <laughs> and uh, and yeah, if I if I know any other uh, ways to engage kids, then it's definitely on my list to share it with you guys. I hope you uh, like this video and but you know I definitely loved it. I definitely love making the modeling clay a lot. <laughs> of course. So um, I'll be back with another fun filled episode next time. So until then, bye.